So as you can see with uh, with this device, it's very reminiscent of a of a Game Boy Advance. We've got directional pads here, and we've got a few buttons. We've got shoulder buttons there, got an extra button there. We've got um, A and B buttons, and a couple of buttons there. Um, and we've also got um, uh, an adapter for power. This is a cartridge slot, I think. Oh no, um, sorry, the cartridge slot is on the top. This is uh, for a camera, or originally for a camera add-on. For the device you've got headphone socket there and then on the back if we take that cover off I, I won't do it right now but you've got space in there for four bat four um double a batteries so which can be rechargeable or, or, or alkaline or whatever um i don't think you can charge the batteries within the device um on on the the leapster explorer gs which i'll do in another video um you can get a charging kit for and you can get a charging kit for the um for the leapfrog um sorry the leap pad 2 as well um but with this one i think you're just restricted to four double a's that have got to go in the back there uh so yeah i mean it's um oh and we've also got uh, which is very important for what we're going to do we've got a uh, a usb uh, mini usb connector there uh and that is how we're going to put the software on here that we want to be able to um uh to play some retro games through emulators uh so that's the top that's really what the topic of this video is going to be about apologies if i'm rambling this is um this is <laughs> my first video so um i hopefully we can get on to uh the good stuff fairly shortly and uh, you can see um what it is we're wanting to do with this device.